Now bond denied for the mother of a murdered baby. Sabria Parker and Hillary Johnson are charged in the death of their nine day old girl. Police say the infant was brought to CHKD earlier this month with signs of abuse. And your side's Kiana Patterson has more on evidence presented in court today. Kiana. Yes, Tom, the key evidence was photos of this bruised and burned baby's body. The judge says it was clear that the baby needed medical attention, yet Parker says that she didn't think it was that serious. Heartbreaking details in court as 21 year old Zebrea Parker appears before a judge nearly three weeks after giving birth to Ejea Johnson. Just nine days after her birthday, Ejea was cold to the touch when taken to CHKD by Parker and Hillary Johnson Jr. This after his family pleaded with hospital staff concerned about the young couple's mental health and homelessness. I tried so hard. I did. I went and told the people I feel for their life, knowing that it might get my son in trouble, him and his wife in trouble. An autopsy shows the baby had a bruise on her left eye, five broken ribs, a broken clavicle, and blunt force trauma to the head. The Commonwealth says while at the hospital, the couple did not appear upset or worried, even laughing when they didn't know her birthday. They claim the baby fell out of the stroller while on a jog and hit her head. Parker admitted she was aware of the injuries, but was treating them with witch hazel. I prayed to myself before she came here and I said, Lord, please let her maternal instincts kick in that she want to protect that baby, that she don't want to, you know, live the way she lives and that she wants more for her and her child. The defense attorney says Parker did not hurt the infant. He adds Parker moved to this area one year ago and had plans to move back to Maryland where her family lives. They was bright kids that I don't know what in the world snapped into them to live the way they were living. And the infant's dad, Hillary Johnson Jr., did not appear in court today for a bond hearing. His attorney decided to withdraw. Now, the couple will be back in court in July. We will continue to follow this story. In Norfolk, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.